Hi, I'm Hannah Woolley. I'm going to do my listening and um, movement project on the composition Autumn by Vivaldi. It is actually what I did my music map for and I'm going to use my music map as a template of how I came up with the moves. Um, so I did ha make a handout. Um, it is about Vivaldi and um, it goes over just a little bit about his childhood, where he grew up, um, how he got into music composition, things like that, but um, I wanted to use Vivaldi's composition Four Seasons to actually teach about the Four Seasons, and that is often talked about in kindergarten, sometimes first grade, depending on the level of the student. Um, I've taught kindergarten and actually taught the Four Seasons, so um, I thought it worked out well. Um, and how I want to incorporate this is when teaching about seasons, um, coming up with the students um, figuring out things that they see during fall, so they may see leaves, it may be windy, there may be rain, um, Thanksgiving, things that they see in fall, and then coming up with movements that help them remember about what happens during the fall season. And then we'll put that to a song, and then they'll be able to learn the song and the movements for it, which I also incorporated in the handout. Um, on how I intended to use it and then I just put the resources at the bottom of where I learned about Vivaldi and more about him um, and further in this video I'll explain the movements that I came up with and then also show an example of how it goes with the music so yeah so for the first section I indicated it with leaves because um, in fall we see leaves and the students might understand that so I want them to do the movement of pretending leaves are falling down and for the louder part, so I have louder and softer for this first form, the louder part we want big leaves falling down so I want them to start high and I want them to fall, 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 fall and do that again until that section is over and then when it gets quieter I want them to be smaller movements so we're going to do just fall, we're not going to get down on the ground, we're just going to use our hands and pretend like we're falling leaves. Um, and then this next form, I indicated it was sunflowers, but I'm going to choose a little different. Um, I'm going to pretend like the wind is blowing because in fall it gets a little windy, it gets a little cold. So I'm going to have them do big moments first for the louder part, which is on here louder and smaller for the same section. So we're going to have big movements like this, like wind is blowing, wind is blowing. And then we're going to have smaller movements where the wind is blowing a little bit quieter, a little quieter. Um, and then we go back to the leaves, so we have the same form as before. So we go back to the leaves, so we're going to have starting up high and falling leaves, and we're going to have them touch the ground, and then we're going to do it again, and go down and touch the ground until that part's over. And then it goes to the smaller, the quieter part again, so we're going to have smaller leaves going down, quieter parts going down um, in that section. And then we get to a whole different section right here, um, where it's louder and then it goes softer. So I'm going to have them go louder and softer. And then um, I indicate it with owls, which are sometimes related to like Halloween and fall. So I want them to pretend like they're owls with their wings and have them do big wings. So for the whole section, I want them to pretend they're owls, do have big wingspan, and then, and then when it gets quieter, we're going to be smaller owls. We're going to be baby owls. So we have the big owl, and then for the smaller section, the quieter section for dynamics, we have smaller owl. And then this section ends actually with the same form used here. So we can do the leaves again, the louder section and the smaller section. So we're going to have big leaves falling and then the small leaves falling again. So um, luckily it repeats a section three different times. So hopefully they'll get that. And I think they'll have fun with moving around and kindergarten, first grade are very, um, have a lot of energy. So hopefully they'll have fun moving around and we'll get some of their energy out. So I'll play the composition and show you kind of what I thought with the moves that they could do. So, oh, I just did that. Okay. Okay. So leaves falling and then quieter let me turn it up so quieter leaves and then we're going to be wind blowing and then we have smaller because it got quieter so smaller wind blowing and then we have the same section so leaves falling again 
wider, so smaller leaves falling. And we're gonna pretend we're big owls, big mom or dad owls. And then we're gonna be baby owls. Kids love pretending to be animals, so could be a good <laughs> thing. And then we have the leaves falling again, which is the same section as before. And then smaller leaves falling again. So that is the only section I will do, and those are the movements for it.